Have you ever talked about getting some new shoes or a new game with your friends only to find your phone bombarded with ads about it? It's no coincidence, it's surveillance. Today I'm going to be doing a live test to see if Google is always listening on your microphone. Dog toys. Some really nice toys for dogs. If I were to buy something right now, it would be dog toys. Swept side up. Oh my god! It's right there! And it can potentially affect our choices and spending habits. But I might just have the remedy for this issue. And the best part? It's completely free. There is a revolutionary Android-based OS for your smartphone that is designed from the ground up with privacy in mind, Iode OS. This OS has been purged by anything that has ever been even touched by Google and comes with privacy-focused and open-source mail, browser and GPS apps, to name a few. So naturally, I put Iode OS to the ultimate test. I took it with me to the biggest hacking conference in Europe to test how secure the device is. I'll tell you more on that later on. But first, let's explore how you can use Iode OS to protect your privacy. And a quick disclaimer, the team from Iode sent me this phone to review it for them. One of the main features of this OS is that Iode OS comes with an integrated tracker firewall that lets you control and analyze your data transmissions. To check out how well it works, I installed TikTok and watched some YouTube videos. And as it turns out, it blocks a ton of tracking related transmissions. It even shows you which countries and location requested data from your device. As you can see, TikTok really wants a lot of data. I open it like two times and watch 10 videos. You can even see which calls specifically wanted to access private data and got blocked by the blocking app. And you can customize each application to be handled differently. For example, here I deactivated any filtering of traffic for my Bearship app. But that's only one way that iOS helps you avoid tracking and protect your privacy. This OS does not want Google to know anything about you. So they don't even include the Google Play Store, but instead offer two options, the Aurora Store and Asteroid. Asteroid is following a pretty simple concept. Asteroid itself is an open source application or app store, and it only allows apps on the platform that are open source themselves. But what if you want to download TikTok, Spotify, or other apps that are not open source. That's what Aurora is for. You can use your Google credentials to log in or go the anonymous route. And once you're in, even anonymously, you can download whatever app you like. You can even spoof your location to access apps that are geo-restricted. And that's just the start. You got the IOTA browser, which is a Firefox-based browser where everything related to telemetry is blocked from the get-go, a secure end-to-end -end encrypted email client, apps for navigation, weather and notes, all with privacy in focus and completely open source. IOTA OS even has the open board and open camera app pre-installed and set as default so that even your keystrokes and camera settings are privacy protected. And they have ad blocking already integrated in the OS as well. Now let's move on to how I used it at Europe's biggest hacking conference, the CCC. So why did I want to test the IOTA OS and the phone at the CCC? Simple. If there's anywhere that you'll get constantly bombarded by attacks with your privacy at stake, it's there. Think about it. You're surrounded by hackers the whole day after all. So it's the perfect proving ground to check how secure the phone is. Now, Iode sent me a fair phone with the system pre-flashed on it. And I added Signal and NordVPN with a kill switch feature for an extra layer of security. And I was so ready for the conference to meet my fellow hackers and I can't wait to go again this year and I hope to see some of you there, maybe? And I wish I could tell you some crazy stories about how my phone got hacked in the middle of the night and that some app opened or anything crazy like that. But not only did Yoda OS uh, build-in privacy features keep my data 
out of prying eyes. No, by using a VPN as well as Signal for chatting, I felt as secure as possible. I just made sure to turn off my main phone before going to the conference and to air gap the two devices. So if you want to enjoy the same peace of mind as I did in the middle of almost 10,000 hackers of four days, you should get the OS for free or a device that comes pre-installed with the OS via my affiliate link in the description. They offer a wide variety of phones that focus on sustainability like the Fairphone, Shift phones and TerraCube. And if you want some extra protection for you and your family, you can subscribe to IOTA Premium and have advanced ad blocking, adult content blocking and privacy-focused parental control features that are non-intrusive.